Luca Ingrassia had no idea he was allergic to tree nuts when he and his family boarded a plane to fly home to Garden City following an Aruba vacation. I had one cashew, and then like my um, throat started to tickle, and then my stomach started to hurt, and then my chest started to hurt. Not knowing that he was going into anaphylactic shock. The airline staff had just handed out a mid-flight snack of mixed cashews, almonds, and pistachios. Never before had Lucas suffered an allergic food reaction. His mom, Francine, cried for help. Flight attendants made a serious announcement. I was scared because, like, I didn't know what was going on at all. We had a nurse on board. We were lucky that we had two passengers that had EpiPens. What are the odds of that? I didn't really know what an EpiPen was, so I was like still kind of nervous. An auto injector filled with epinephrine, but the first was defective. She looked through my throat and saw my files closing. The pilots considered an emergency landing when the second injection worked. The FAA requires all U.S. commercial airlines to carry defibrillators, known as AEDs, on passenger flights with cab and crews trained to their use. But prior efforts mandating EpiPens on planes have stalled in Congress. Schools require them, but not airlines. We have to revive that bill now, and we have to raise public awareness. International Air Transportation Association represents 83% of worldwide airlines, says for now it is up to each carrier. Only a handful stock EpiPens. Some have loose files of epinephrine, requiring a licensed medical professional. On land, I would have called 911. But in the air, what do you do? I mean, this can save a life. This is life or death in the skies. Luca Ingrassia now shares in his parents' mission to make the skies safer. From Garden City, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. Thank goodness that worked out. The Ingrassias want the federal bill revived, requiring two packs of EpiPens per plane with crew members trained not to use them.